we've got our hanging chair stand. Yay! <laughs> you guys don't understand. I've had, it's so loud in here. So I've had this hanging chair for I wanna say like two or three years. And I just have never, it's, it's been, been no. It's been at least four years. Oh my, no like three maybe. Okay, like maybe three to four years. And it's just been in storage because we didn't have a hanging thing for it. We wanted to put it from the ceiling and I just never did it. But now we're at the new office and look what we got. Yeah, 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 yeah. So while Red's setting that up, I am going to build our little table. We got a little table for lunch. Just a little round one. Nothing too crazy. I hope it can fit everybody, but now we have these like... We could definitely fit eight people in here. Eight people around that tiny table. We have bar stools now, so people can eat over here, and the table will take less space. So, yeah. Just gonna build that. I'm gonna build this. Fun building time. It's a lot of building you gotta do there. So much. Great. It's actually really tall. I wasn't expecting it to be that tall. Shouldn't you put the, the, the thing on the top before you put that in there? No. Dork. I finished. All it needs to be is flipped over. How you doing over here? Good. Just... Seems like a good height. Yeah? Yeah. Try this right now and see how this works. That's really freaky. So this won't go any over here, so I to make this into another knot, but if you think it's too low. Kinda. <laughs> yeah. We're back in the office, and it's still really echoey. Hello. Ah. Where'd that come from? Oh my gosh, I love our walls. I just want to film this vlog with this in my background. So if you guys missed the vlog where we painted this wall, this wall, and that wall over there, I'll put a little link in the description for you guys to go see how we did this um, and how satisfying it is. Um, but today we are going to try to do some decorative film on our windows. So we have a lot of natural light, which is really nice. And if you guys caught my video that I did at my house in my kitchen where I put rainbow filters, where I was able to have rainbow light in my kitchen, I'll put a link for that in the description as well. It is one of my favorite parts of my house. I wish I had more windows that had direct sunlight so I can do that. Um, but I decided since we have so many windows here, and so many glass surfaces that I wanted to take advantage of that and use some more decorative film. So, so I bought a whole bunch of it. And I'm gonna show you guys the process of how I'm going to do this. Um, I will put info in the description where you guys can purchase all of the <laughs> film. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put a link in the description where you guys can get all this. There's a bunch of different types. And so I thought this would be another fun little DIY to show you guys the process of how this, how this is gonna go. And I hope it goes smoothly, but it's a big surface. Like what I did at my house was a smaller area. So I'm a little nervous about this because it was kind of expensive. But if I make any mistakes, you guys get to see it all. Okay, so this is what I bought. I bought a lot because we have a lot of surface cover. But look how pretty it looks. Um, this one is a little bit transparent so you can see through. I'll put info in the description which one this is because there's a lot to choose from. And then we also got, we also got this one which is more like iridescent and it kind of looks like tiles. And the plan is to put this stuff on the kitchen, on this little panel right here. Um, but we 
have to do that with plexiglass and we don't have that right now, so we'll have to make a trip to Home Depot. First, we're gonna do the other one. So yeah, this is what this one looks like. And this looks like, look how pretty it is. That's super nice. That's really nice. You're pixelated. Your body's pixelated. Yeah, it's really nice. Look how it looks on the back. Whoa. Which way is forward? Mm -hmm. That way, right? Yeah. So this is what it looks like before. And this is all that we have to work with. It doesn't seem like a lot, but we're gonna cut this into little strips. Same with this one. And then try to space it out to give it the illusion that we actually have more. Well, this stuff was dang expensive. It was expensive. Expensive. More bang for your buck. Here's my craft queen. <laughs> marking away. Only she has a steady hand for this type of job. I like how you're carrying everything here. It's legitimately like... One trip family. <laughs> Making me proud, babe. Can't go up and down the stairs all the time. Just gotta make it happen. So yeah, I'm gonna be here for the next couple hours. Just working away. We just got some cheers for the table. Good job. Thanks. Good job, you built them. You did it. We did it. I like it. Coffee. It matches the wall. Yeah, that That's was cute. Right? I don't. I don't remember. I don't remember. <laughs> I'm cutting up some strips right now, but I'm gonna take a little break because my hands hurting, and we're gonna start to put these on the windows. I'm excited. So we're back at the office and we're gonna tackle a new little project. Mm -hmm. We just bought this reflective mirror paper at the art store. It looks like a fun house. <laughs> it does. I was looking at the oh. that looks in the screen. <laughs> so the plan is we were gonna get plexiglass to put this um the roll that we have, it's like over there, this is a sample. But we're gonna put this right here as if it was a backsplash to the kitchen. So we're just gonna make like a fake one 
And we were going to do plexiglass, um, but it's kind of expensive. So we decided to try it with this reflective paper. And I think it's going to work. Um, and I think it's going to actually look a lot better because the surface is going to reflect the light. And hopefully the light will still pick up through the actual tint. So, I mean, yeah. So what we're going to do is uh, Red has already marked the back of these. And he's measured it out and we're gonna cut it to size and then we're gonna put the film on top of it cut the film to size mm -hmm. put the film on it and then we're going to put them up here and figure out where we need to cut these holes for the light oh be careful don't do that uh, it just stuck on there for don't do that I'm not trying to do anything. No, don't do it. I, this don't. is the bottom part. Oh, this, okay. I was going to say, don't test it because it's paper. It can rip easily. Yeah, this is the bottom part that we don't need. This is going to be cut. Okay. So I want to see how it looks right here. I mean, it still looks good. So it'll be like that. I think it's going to look good. Yeah. And then with the light underneath? Yeah. So... We're gonna put a hue light strip right underneath here. If you guys don't have, if you guys don't own or have never seen hue lights, we have a bunch of these in our house and they are amazing because you can control them with app, an app on your phone and change the color. And it's really, really awesome. I love them. It sets a cool ambiance. Um, it's very, what's the word? Aesthetic. Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna be we're gonna start this project, and then I wanted to show you guys the stuff that we did last time. Now that it's day, it looks completely different. You ready? So here is what the glass looks like now with the reflective film, and now that there's light coming through it, it looks different. So it still looks really cool, but I really love that about the reflective film is because it changes throughout the day. So it's like, you can't get bored of it. While Red is working on that, I am gonna be finishing up the table. Um, I've already cut out some strips, and then I'm also gonna cut out some strips of this one. So a lot of fun projects today. And hopefully this will complete all of the film. Yeah. Yeah. And then right after this, we could move in because we'll have the clearance. Actually, we already have our move date. We're moving on Friday. Yeah, this coming Friday. So we, we better finish. Let's get to work. Okay, everything fits. Yep. Just have to tape everything down to this and then it's nice and flat. But everything's cut out. Yep. Cut out the sockets. Well, By the way, I did the fridge. Yeah, good well, job. Well, you that. were. It looks cool. Yeah. <laughs> looks like futuristic fridge. Okay, we're gonna attempt to do this. And I also finished the table. I cleaned it, wiped it down. I like it. Came out pretty good. Okay, that was a lot harder than we expected. <laughs> yeah. Um, we ended up messing up in the beginning, but this is the one that messed up. Oh my gosh, it looks so pretty. Uh, but here it is. We have it all cut out. Um, we got out all the air bubbles. And if you're going to try this project at home, I would recommend just buying the plexiglass because this stuff isn't cheap and it was 
very, very hard to do on the paper. Um, there's no room for mistakes. Um, so if you do have a glass surface, you, you probably want to just go that way. Yeah. It is going to be, with the plexiglass, it would be a little bit more challenging to cut out the individual squares. That's but, true. That's true. You know, it's trade-offs. Yeah. Okay. So we have it all cut out. It just looks so pretty. Ooh, so reflective. We are using these command strips that normally come with little hanging thingies um, because they're the thinnest that we found and they are really good to adhere stuff. So we're putting them on the back. This is what it looks like on the back. Not very glamorous. I'm gonna put all these down and then up it goes. All right, we did it. Look how good it looks. Good job, good job. We did it. <laughs> Man, that was hard. That was hard. Oh my gosh, this looks so amazing. It looks so good. I think this is a success. I was yeah. a little worried there. <laughs> and it, it was, was a success. success. Oh man, it looks good. It looks so good. I was seriously a little bit worried, but I'm so happy with the way it turned out. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We will keep you guys updated on any other updates we do to the office. We still gotta get our furniture in. There's still a lot that we have to do, um, but move day is Friday for us, so I'll have some more updates soon. Um, if you guys enjoyed this, please show your support, leave a like on the video,